uh, you know, one biggest uh, step is to basically have a common database out of which you, uh, you know, report. And normally in younger startups, what happens is that uh, you may have a very uh, basic accounting software. Uh, and then you'll have a lot of uh, Excel sheets floating around. Uh, a syndrome which I call as, you know, Apunichi Bhagwane, wherein everyone's Excel sheet is brought to them. And uh, uh, so you need to believe in a common uh, uh, database to start off, uh, you know, in terms of having reportings across all stakeholders within the organization, whether internal or external. Uh, it doesn't happen from day zero. Depending on the business size and the scale of operations, you know, you'll have to take decisions in terms of how much do you invest in your accounting technologies and processes per se. Uh, therefore, at the start of the journey, it will definitely be a bit of a, uh, uh, you know, uh, unstructured way of uh, processing information, etc. And uh, as you move forward and scale up businesses, uh, you'll need to have an accounting software, a team, and then eventually probably the end goal would be a proper ERP in place uh, and creating a data lake as well. And to add on to what Ankur said, you know, he emphasized a lot about the data management across the stage of the company. I think the role of the CFO and the finance function also changes as the company evolves. I mean, if you're a series A or a pre-series A company, uh, you know, one might think that, you know, you don't require a very senior CFO uh, because the company is young. But, you know, on the other hand, you, you know, you do need an experienced person to get the nuts and bolts right. I mean, you can't, uh, you know, uh, leave it to chance. And, you know, we have done a lot of deals together, Amit, and we have seen that in a Series A or pre-Series A companies, things can go terribly wrong. Uh, right. You know, you don't have the finance function sorted. So, you know, you might want to look at, uh, you know, a, say a virtual CFO or a part-time CFO, someone who's really experienced and who can get all the nuts and bolts right. Uh, and as the company evolves, you know, you might want to have someone like a head of finance uh, and then someone probably specializing in tax or, um, you know, say for secretary matters, you know, separately. And as the company becomes as big as, say, Boat, for instance, you know, you have to have a full-time CFO with, you know, heads of tax, heads of secretarial, heads of legal, so that the company and the role of the CFO also changes as the company evolves. Mm -hmm.